breaking news on NDTV. I am Ankit Tyagi. Ladies and gentlemen, a special focus, just not because today is Raksha Bandhan on the women. The spotlight is on them, courtesy all the political parties and a pose of schemes which are being shared as far as the women voters are concerned. We will discuss that in detail today on breaking views of how women have emerged as the key for 2024 elections. Of course, in the road to those elections as well. Well, uh, what's the best indicator to know the election season is near? Well, it's the bumper schemes being launched one after another, state after state, government after government doing so. And if you go by the big sale, the bumper muft, 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 viewers, you would know we are heading into a hot election season. Crucial state elections at the end of the year and leading up to the big battle of 2024. But what seems to be the pivot, the focus of many of these schemes, they have women at the very center of this game. Be it the Griha Lakshmi Yojana scheme that has been launched by the government of Karnataka, the Congress party ruling there, which gives 2,000 rupees a month to women, or as the BJP says, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Rakhi gift for the sisters with 200 rupees LPG price cut, which goes up to 400 rupees for the Ujwala scheme beneficiaries. The move comes as the central government, ladies and gentlemen, faced growing criticism over rising inflation and its impact on household. So dare I say, women matter, but women voter matter much more. And that's been the focus of all political parties. Before I go further to set this up for the discussion with our uh, panelists tonight, just listen in to some political voices on how importance, so much importance is being given to women-centric schemes because they are at this moment being seen very central to the electoral fortunes. Onam or Raksha Bandhan ke is pavan avsar par Pradhan Mantri Modi ji na nirane liya hai ki 200 rupiah gas cylinder ke daam kam kiye jayenge Amusing to see that till now women who are suffering the high inflation cost of gas cylinders, it has come from 450 rupees to 1100 rupees with no subsidies, mm. are suddenly being told, hello, we are giving you a discount of 200 because of Rakhi. Mm. Even they must be laughing at them. This has got nothing to do with elections. I keep coming back. You know, we are the world's largest democracy at any given point of time. We are only six months away from some election or the other. I don't know how many months have elapsed since the um, Himachal and Karnatak um, election. But we are a few months away from the elections in uh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, uh, and some other states. This cylinder was only 400 rupees. Today, that cylinder has increased to 1200 rupees. Now, if the cylinder has been given to 1200 rupees, it has been given to 200 rupees. So, it has not been given. This is the fault of the people's money. I give Pradhan Mantri Ji a special appreciation. I give a great deal. 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 साथ ही ये गौरतलब है कि लगभग 9 करोड़ 60 लाख गरीब बहनें उज्ज्वला योजना के अंतर्गत सेवा पाती हैं और उज्ज्वला योजना में वर्तमान में 200 रुपए का रीफिल प्रति सिलेंडर लगभग 12 सिलेंडर्स के लिए दिया जाता है तो आज जब 200 रुपए और घटा तो उज्ज्वला योजना से संबद्ध जो गरीब बहनें उनको तो 400 रुपए का फायदा हुआ है जब कांग्रेस पार्टी कुछ कहती है जब कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कुछ कहते हैं तो हम वो करके दिखाते हैं और आज जब हमने ये टैबलेट पे बटन दबाया तो हमारी करोड़ों महिलाओं को सीधे उनके बैंक अकाउंट में दो हजार रुपए मिले और जैसे आज हुआ वैसे ही हर महीने करोड़ों महिलाओं को so the name of the game is to woo the all-important women voters. Sample this. In 2019, the 49% Mahila vote bank went up to match the men in terms of voting percentage. Almost equal. In fact, women voted slightly more than the men. What it tells you is how 
the women voters have asserted themselves and hence parties are going all out to woo them. Another figure from 2014 general election about the importance of the women voters, ladies and gentlemen, and their preferences. In 2014, NDA's lead over UPA, they had 10% more women voting for them in comparison. So NDA had 10% more women voting for them in comparison to the UPA. As they say, get a woman voter in your corner and the household will also follow. Every political party has realized the power of the women vote bank and hence the spotlight is on the fairer sex. In the upcoming polls in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan, both the BJP and the Congress are in a race to outdo each other when it comes to the swaps for the women. In Madhya Pradesh, Congress chief and CM aspirant Kamal Nath launched Nari Samman Yojana, which uh, includes 1500 rupees for women and subsidized LPG cylinder. The Chief Minister Shivra Singh Chauhan immediately followed it up with a slew of schemes. He announced the Ladli Behna Yojana, subsidized LPG and money directly into their bank accounts as some of the SOPs by the government of Madhya Pradesh. Cut to Rajasthan, where Chief Minister Ashok Gehloth has already announced uh, subsidy over cylinders, 500 rupees per cylinder, the Mahangai Rahat camp. Back uh, in the center, given the above steps, the government, in fact, hopes that uh, this is going to be a major boost. Now, in the last Uttar Pradesh elections, ladies and gentlemen, uh, which the BJP provided free cooking gas uh, connections under the Ujwala Yojana to around 40 million poor families, this, many say, term, turned into their trump card. The BJP hopes to repeat the same in 2024. And so is the Congress and other opposition parties, whether and go across any state. The women are right at the center of these schemes. So the women voters are the key for unlocking the crown of 2024. And will the queens be the kingmakers in the battle for 2024? That's the big focus here on breaking views. Let me very quickly take this discussion further and introduce my uh, guests, those who are joining me this uh, evening. Uh, Salman Soz, uh, Congress, uh, spokesperson of the Congress Party, a Prajata Sarangi, member of parliament from the Bharti Janta Party, Amitabh Tiwari, political analyst and uh, data cruncher is also with us uh, in, uh, on the show. Thank you so much. And I welcome all of you. Uh, Prajita ji, I want to start by asking you what happened to all those attacks about freebies and ravery and the, the country and the economy and the governments where the opposition are ruling will go completely bankrupt if we keep doing these subsidies. And today, you have wrapped it up as a gift for Raksha Bandhan for women. Is that an acknowledgement by the Bharti Janta Party that they are worried about the inflation? A very good evening. Now, at the outset, let me tell you that Antyoda is the spirit with which we work. That's the backbone of our vision, if I can say that. And also don't forget that 50% of our population is constituted by women. So women are very important. And number three, I must say, let us not link any social welfare measure of any government, so to say, with elections. India is a huge democracy with so many number of states and union territories. Every time, every month, there is an election here or there. So I think to say that anything has been done, keeping in view an eye on the election or to woo women voter, voters is far from the truth. See, here is a government which strongly believes in social welfare measures and it does not just come out with policies, it believes in proper implementation. We are aware of the fact that about 9 crore 60 lakh women have been beneficiaries under Ujwala Yojana. And then we also know that it has also been announced that 75 lakh women would be further added to this list. So it would be going up to 10 crore 35 lakh women in the days to right. come. This is a huge gift of Honorable Prime Minister to the Sisters of India. The gas cylinder of 14.2 kilos will be, the price will be down by 200 rupees. So I think the women 
the benefit Ma'am, pardon me for inter- saying, interjecting here, yeah. but like you said, yeah. they don't attach it or uh, to uh, you know the uh, upcoming elections. Why shouldn't anybody see it like that? Because you are saying it's a huge gift. The government has increased the cylinder prices continuously. It's just six months to go for this tenure of the Modi government to, uh, uh, to get over, and suddenly you announce this two hundred rupee subsidy. See, I must tell you that we have been contemplating to reduce and there are certain issues which have to be grappled with analysis has to be done decisions are not taken in a half and uh, that is why we have done it now if we had an eye on the election or to woo the women voters mm. we would have done it two months before the election so i think now after proper calculation after proper analysis okay. we have been able to do and you must know that there would be there's a financial implication of 7680 crore Absolutely. for the national exchequer that's how it is so okay. i think the government is ready now so government has announced now and uh, incidentally this is rafi so okay. honorable prime minister has made a gift to the sisters of the country okay let me get in salman sows uh, for his opening remarks so on this salman sows uh, all, all is fair in the game it's the same game being played state after state the congress uh, in fact mr rahul gandhi today while he was inaugurating the uh, the 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 yojana in in fact uh, uh, karnataka he said that four of our five of uh, out of four uh, five schemes that were announced four are women centric we have seen what uh, in, uh, mr Ra- uh, gelot is doing in rajasthan one after another from the mobile phones to the uh, subsidized cylinders is this how the battle of 2024 would be won and also the state elections subsidize give freebies and that's the game forward uh let me first uh, talk about this rakhi gift uh, that uh, everybody in the bjp is so gaga about uh, one simple question that the people of india must ask the bjp is if there's a gift a rakhi gift right now why was there no gift in 2021 in 2021 the lpg prices in june were 809 in july they were 834.50 in august August 17 2021 they raised it to 859.40 and August 22 was rakhi and then September 1 2021 884.50 that means they actually increased prices in 2021 what about 2022 March 2022 949.5 May 7 999 then they increased it again in May 1003 July 6 2022 one thousand fifty three. Right. And Rakhi was on August twelfth, twenty twenty two. Why no gift? Why no Rakhi gift in twenty twenty two? Were these not sisters then? They're sisters now because elections are in two months' time. Just the BJP spokesperson said we would do it two months before the elections. She's right. They've done it two months before the elections. Elections are are in November. The BJP should know one thing. They have. totally damaged women women they damaged women more than anybody else why not just inflation because that affects everybody but look at the employment situation in the country if you look at the female labor force participation rate in india right now hmm. it's historically low below 20% historically historically low on top of that the unemployment rate for women is extremely high so okay. one labor force participation is low on the other hand we have very high unemployment rate among women and youth in this country is, so salman is that the also the reason let me come to the congress let me come to the elections are party. the reason that you have also done it right two months away yes, from the well, rajasthan no, election but, as well and that's why the chief minister of rajasthan 500 rupees cylinder me, mobile phones say, and everything yes, rolls yes, out yes yes let me let me let me respond to that of course now ashok gelot ji announced the scheme of 500 rupees lpg gas for Uh, bpl families in december 2022 elections are in november 2023 as far as the congress's guarantees in karnataka are concerned of course we guaranteed people that we would help them because the modi government has destroyed family life okay they've damaged family life and we have to help 
bring these uh, people up. We need to support them. Okay. We, have, we need to support women most Okay, all, before I go to Amitabh, Aprajit, you respond to what Salman Soz is saying. Is, and this is, the, this is continuously, not just from the Congress party, but from all the constituents of uh, Team India, they have been saying that this has been done. This is the first, in fact, reaction of uh, the price rise issue that the opposition has raised. The Modi government is, has done it under pressure. Keeping in view the track record of the Congress, I don't think they have any right to talk about the price of LPG cylinder. See, if we look at the prices, last five years average of LPG price under the Modi government is rupees 762.80. And as far as their government is concerned, the average LPG cylinder price between 2009 and 2014 was 954.20. See the difference. And I must tell you, the highest ever price of LPG gas cylinder was 1265 rupees on January 1, 2014. So I think these people should not talk about the price. Modi government has tried its best of the non subsidized cylinder to bring it down. And number one, number two, why are they rattled? If Modi government has come forward and uh, has shown the kind of, you know, the, the, the courage okay. to bring down the price and which would be helping the women. Aren't they, don't they want the reduction in the price? Don't they want to help the women? I will, I I will, I will, I will come back to, I will come back to you with a question on that. But Salman, so quickly respond to what she's saying. Very quick response. I'm so glad that, I'm so glad uh, that the BJP spokesperson has uh, compared uh, LPG uh, non-subsidized or subsidized, doesn't matter, LPG prices in India. The fact of the matter is, you cannot just look at rupee prices. You have to look at two other very important things. You have to look at what is the gas contract price, international gas contract price, which is the Saudi Aramco gas price, okay. gas contract price. And you have to look at the exchange rates. When you take those two into account, let me tell you, my friend, that subsidized gas prices right now, even after this additional 200 uh, rupee cut, are 174% more in the Modi government than in the Manmohan Singh government. Okay. And the non-subsidized LPG prices to right now are 42% more okay. than, uh, than they were under me... Manmohan Singh chief. So, by the way, the BJP, the BJP uh, I thank the BJP spokesperson for giving me an opportunity to actually make this very clear. Okay. Okay, let you, me let me let me get in Amitabh Tiwari. Let me get in Amitabh Tiwari and, and and let me just take it uh, you know a, a little bit overview uh, from the uh, gas cylinder, the pipeline, possibly to more votes uh, in uh, the upcoming elections and 2024. Amitabh Tiwari, this this fight about gas cylinders, all these schemes being launched, uh, you know, to full page ad today by the Madhya Pradesh government of how they have empowered women by number of schemes that they have launched. This tells you how important the women voter are. Finally, at least as voters, the strength of the women is being recognized by every political party. Yeah, in fact, uh, as you mentioned, the women turnout for the first time in 2019 was slightly higher than the male turnout. More women vote for the BJP, voted for the BJP in 2019 than men. It was around 46% versus 44%. The lead of the BJP or the NDA amongst women is higher around 19% versus men, around 17%. And they are, because of the increasing literacy levels and awareness, they are now taking independent voting decisions. And they are believed to be voting across caste lines, and they have their own needs, aspirations, wants, mm. and issues. So uh, that is why, uh, as you mentioned, a strong law and order or a better law and order situation uh, led 48% of females voting for the Yogi government in UP, hmm. whereas a promise of a 500 rupees cylinder led 44% women vote for the Congress, hmm. whereas only 33% voted for the BJP in the Karnataka election. So the woman is at the center of the uh, uh, all the political parties, and uh, it's not surprising to see political parties announcing a lot of schemes right. for the voter. And near to the elections, we are seeing everybody giving some sort of a bonanza. And with high inflation levels, yes, because inflation, unemployment, these two are the top two issues across surveys for state elections as well as 
national election. So is that BJP, let me let, that's a very important point that you're making. Is that why Aprajita ji, the BJP is at this moment worried? No matter what names you put as far as this uh, alliance, India alliance is concerned, Prime Minister has called it names, the BJP is calling it names, but the issues that has been picked up, like inflation, like unemployment, they are the ones which the BJP does find can pinch and specifically can take away the women voter from them. And that's the reason why a concerted effort now again is being made uh, towards uh, in trying to, in fact, the, wo the women voters back. See, I fail to understand why the opposition parties, including the Congress, should cry hoarse when the Prime Minister has come forward and addressed the issue that they have been raising all through. They had been talking about inflation. Now, here is a Prime Minister who has brought down the price of gas cylinder by rupees 200. Aren't they siding with the women? Don't they want the welfare of women? Why are they cribbing so much and why are they so rattled? Are they afraid of the growing popularity of Prime Minister Modi? Now, as far as inflation is concerned, I must say very emphatically that there are certain global uh, issues due to which, you know, the inflation of many things, including food stuff, etc., goes up. Okay. We are talking of the El Nino effect in the Pacific Ocean, right? Okay. So there would be a problem in the food prices. The food prices would go up because... No, non basmati rice right now yes. is not being exported so i think i'll just give you a very small example so we have to look at the whole scenario before we jump to conclusions to say why this inflation no but, but this I'm, I'm glad at least with this i'm glad scenario, at least with this the government the is acknowledging that there is mehngai that there is inflation that before this there before this there was more or less a complete denial that uh, you know there is any sort of problems as far as the middle class is facing but salman shows is the opposition now uh, trying to catch up with prime minister's popularity specifically among the women voters Absolutely. with all these schemes you are trying to in fact make sure that you snatch away that uh, on block woman vote which was possibly in large numbers going to the BJP. I gave you the example of 2014 and 2019. Uh, uh, first of all, let me just uh, make one thing very clear. Uh, we are very happy that uh, uh, the people of India have uh, gotten some relief. In fact, it is because of uh, the kind of campaign that we've launched and because India Alliance is becoming such a, uh, I think, a pretty strong force that the BJP is now in the back foot. They understand there's a problem. They understand that there's a huge alliance that has kind of uh, come up against them. They understand that we are raising issues that are front and center for Indian families, especially the poor, the lower income and the middle income uh, families of India. So obviously we welcome it. We, we are, we are very, very happy. But let me just say that this is not enough. This is certainly not enough because even at 700 rupees, think about it. The, the BPL families in India, right. the monthly income is about 2250 rupees per month, right? Monthly income is 2250. Out of that, you're asking them to pay 700 rupees for a gas cylinder. Okay. That is after the second round of subsidies. That is too much. Okay. That is why the Congress government in Rajasthan went for a 500 rupee one, because we're trying to put money back in the hands of India's families okay that's Amitabh... not what the bjp is doing and that is what we will keep pushing we'll keep pushing okay and, you know we're not worried about the prime minister the Amitabh... prime minister went to karnataka and he got soundly defeated okay so the, he there is a chance there is a good chance that we're going to defeat him in 2024 we're not worried we, about that. It. That is for, as we are talking about, the women voters, will the, will the queens be the kingmakers? We leave it to them what they decide. But Amitabh, uh, can the Bharatiya Janata Party, and we saw that just in the run-up to the 2019 election, they were almost able to make this Ujwala Yojana work for them the way possibly Mandrega work for the UPA government. Can that be repeated with these subsidies that they are trying to, in fact, uh, put forward to the women voter? I think uh, this... This is uh, the first step, perhaps. We might also see an increase in the uh, Kisan Nidhi amount because, see, I mean, there is an inflation impact on, on everything. What we also need to realize is that there is a series of events. Hmm. The Bilkes Banu convict release, the Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh case, the Manipur incident, and this high inflation. So it's not just inflation. These are three, four issues, hmm. perhaps, which is likely to impact the conscience of the woman voter and going forward in political strategy it is said 
that you you should not ask the ruling party right or dare the ruling party to do something which they can easily do so you are asking the bjp the congress is asking the bjp to reduce the price right it can reduce the the impact is only 7600 crores whereas the annual spend of the government is 45 lakh crore so it can even reduce it to almost 500 rupees because okay. the impact only 21000 crore rupees okay. not even 1% of the entire expenditure so the opposition will have to not only uh, uh, promise something but will also have to lay down a vision or Interesting. a blueprint i will have to leave it there opinion. I will have to leave it there. Uh, thank you so much to all three of you for joining me on the broadcast. But it's very interesting. With the, like the Congress says, can they take the credit for the government reducing the prices? And if they do, has the BJP taken away the very important issue of inflation, of price rise, of mehengai uh, from the opposition? Very, very interesting how these narratives are going to play out in the next few months. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I am Ankit Tiagi signing off.